everyone thank you for tuning in for this collective message all 12 zodiac signs uh elements earth air water and fire um this is a confessions so let's tap in and see what's going on we have the liar be careful of someone sneaky okay and it could be there could be a narcissist here Please show us more on this liar for this confession. So what else? What else do you want this collective to know? Please show us. Show us a message for this liar. The lie detector says they are the pappy. So maybe this person could be lying saying, oh, that's not my child or, um, you know, there's no possibilities or whatever but they're lying um or someone could be lying on someone saying that they that that person is the father and they may not be um but no it says the lie detector says they are the pappy so they are the pappy someone is lying saying that that's not the father but it is the father or the person who is the father is denying the child show us more on this energy it wanted to come out. We have karmic mother that wanted to come out. Show us more on this energy. Feel alone. So they feel alone without you. This is why someone is lying, saying that you know they're not the father or their child. That's not my child. Yeah, someone is just toxic. Okay, very toxic. Or it could be a masculine here that um, that could be fathering a child that could be finding out that you're a father of this child and you're realizing that you're in a toxic situation because the mother of the children, the mother of your child could be a karmic mother. Um, and you could feel, someone may feel, or this person, someone feels alone without you or you feel alone without them. Show us a message here for this energy. Please show us more on this energy for this collector. But someone is a narcissist. Show us more. Oof. And more. Oof. Okay. Fiery spirit. Let's get one more on the nine of wands in reverse. Nine of wands in reverse. And page of swords. Page of swords. The magician, please show us. the source all right you guys so it's definitely been some funny business here someone is definitely a, a huge liar it's like they know what they've done they were um they used it they did not use protection it's nine of wands in reverse and a child is here um yeah so now someone is spying trying to gather information on someone love life like okay so you may be dealing with the narcissist baby mother because we did have karmic mother i feel like i'm reading for the masculines out there okay more uh, male energy so um this if you're female this could be a male that's surrounding you that's going through this but um i feel like the mother of this child could be karmic okay um especially with this showing karmic mother um but someone got someone pregnant and yeah you did not use protection and it's like you know you got to deal with this person they could be a narcissist and they're very manipulative that's what a narcissist is they're very manipulative um this person is spying on you trying to gather information due to your new love life trying to s basically sabotage it they don't want you to have a love life outside of them because they have a child with you i guess this person may have tried to um, they wanted a child, apparently. Um, 
But, yeah, someone just, you know, got caught up in a moment, did not protect themselves, and now you have a child with this karmic mother, okay? Um, but, again, if you have moved on or tried to move on or you're trying to let go of this situation, even though you have a child with this person or you, this person could be pregnant, but um, they're spying on you. They're trying to see who you loving on because they want to sabotage it. This is what's going on here. Someone is wanting to sabotage whatever connection that you come into. Male. I'm talking to the males. Whoever you are, you have a child by a baby mother. There's a baby mother or there's a, or she she's, she's either currently pregnant or recently had a child. And this particular person is very narcissistic. They're very, uh, very manipulative and they're, they're huge. They're a big liar. Okay. So this person, they, they do this. Um, and they thought that this would work with you, whatever they was trying to gain off of you. And it could possibly be a relationship. Um, it may have worked, but now someone is losing interest or have lost interest. Um, there's no sex going on with you and this person at this time. So whoever I'm speaking to, you may have has, had a child with this person recently or this person is current, currently pregnant and um, it looked like you're not sexually involved with them at this time. You, you're not even aroused due to this person. Um, this person could have manipulated you into not using protection because that's what they were trying to do, get pregnant. They could have lied. Someone could have lied about, their, about them. Um, uh, Maybe they, they said that they weren't on birth control, but they wasn't taking it. Um, or this person lied like, oh, I'm not even fertile at this time or whatever. Something, it was a lie. But someone is pregnant or they end up getting pregnant and this is what's going on currently. Um, it could be some unjust due to this because of that. And someone is wanting new love. Uh, whoever this is, it was just like a, a more of a sexual passion in a moment type situation. This wasn't a long-term connection, and this person was trying to manipulate you into having a long-term connection with them. Um, and now that they're not getting their way, they want to sabotage everything that you come across as good for you, especially relationships and your love. Because they're like, oh, if you don't love me, you don't want me, then I'm not going I'm, I'm gonna make sure that you don't love on anyone else or no one else love on you. So however they're doing this manipulation to cause a stop or hindrance to that, that's what they're doing. Um, let's see. So I feel like I'm speaking to um, my divine masculines here. It's like someone someone chose the wrong person, or not even chose the wrong person. It's just you got you. That's why you got to be careful. You got to be careful. You got to be safe out here. Show us more with the magician. The magician in reverse. The magician. Show us more with the magician. Why is the magician in reverse spirit? Hmm. Yeah, someone is definitely manipulating the situation. Someone could definitely be doing some type of spell work. All right. Some type of black magic to cause endings. Look at that skull here. And they looking hard in on someone. Trying to work hard on manipulating someone's uh, sexual life. Love life. It's like someone, someone also could be trying to manipulate someone into not having sex with you. Not getting aroused by you. By telling lies. By making up lies so they can look at you in a different way. Yeah, this person got it out for you. Whoever this is, just move away. I feel like you're being protected due to this. Um, whoever this masculine is, or this this could be a female um, in a situation. If you're dealing with this masculine, you and this masculine could be being protected by moving away from the situation. You may come together with the right connection. Um, you may come together with someone and make a family of your own. But this is, someone is being protected and, and being um, advised to move away from this this uh, narcissist individual. Yeah, it's a lot of clarity being shown upon this love situation. It was a lot of betrayal. Um, someone could have been dealing with the Leo. We also have Gemini, Virgo, and Libra here. 
Um, show us more on this uh, page of cups. Page of cups. Page of cups. Clarify with the six of cups in reverse. <sighs> Yeah, whoever this is, you're not happy that you have been this child with this person. Because they bring nothing but negativity to your life. Or this is how you feel. Or this could be how the feminine feel as well. Um, a karmic mother could be the actual mother of someone. And someone just feel like the mother is manipulating the situation. Take it however it resonates. But for some of you, most of you, masculines, male, um, divine masculine here. Um, it seems like you had a child with a karmic mother, a karmic baby mother, and they're just going to try to cause hindrance, problems, um, losses to your life. If you, if they, if you don't give them what they want, then they're going to cause this on you or they're going to try their hardest too. So spirit, will they succeed? Will they succeed with causing this, um, or uh, sabotaging? Things for this divine masculine. Will they succeed at this? Will this karmic deception succeed towards this divine masculine at this present time? It looks like um, they're trying. I don't see a complete success with this. No, because it looked like it's going to be clarity. It's clarity shown on this. So you may have to figure this out. So by you figuring this out. um, Wow. Yeah. There's, there's definitely truth and clarity being shown upon this. Don't be fooled into a relationship. Or the truth and clarity is that you're finding out like this person fooled you. Fooled you in a connection. Fooled you in a relationship. Um, but... Yeah, and it could have caused you to delay your progress or some some your independence. Whoever this is is very codependent and um, very narcissistic and uh, very much um, a manipulator. So it looked like they're conquering what they have, what they were trying to do. Whatever this manipulation is, it looked like they conquer it, but then is is you know is being put to a stop or halt because. Of the clarity that you're receiving out of this so it's causing you to change up some things with this person like okay I know how to deal with you now that I know you're kind I know who you are I know how to deal with you all right anything else yeah you need to um, yeah basically figure out how how to balance this out especially if you're finding out damn I am the father I am the father of this child so someone just needs to figure out how they're going to handle this. Yeah, Emperor. I'm speaking to a divine masculine. Show us more. Yeah, someone also may have to um, figure out how to balance this out by um, being supportive to this child, but not necessarily having a connection with this karmic mother. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's looking like someone is... That's why I, whoever this masculine is, you're a real stand-up guy. Like, you you do what you need to do, um, even though you don't like the situation, but you're there for this child or this these children, however this is for you. It's definitely a child here. Um, someone could have neglected children and started to... Um, Dang, someone, the, whoever this karmic mother is, they could have neglected their own cho their children to hinder. Like, I, I'm getting like, they're so focused on this particular child that they're having with you or that they have with you. They're taking off focus with the children, the other children that they have from another child's father or something. And they're not really putting, you know, they're not being a mother. They're not doing what they need to do with the, these children because they're so focused on this divine masculine and conquering what they want with this child father whereas a, a a divine feminine a great mother she's gonna you know if this slipped up and this happened first of all she's not going to cause any chaos and drama with this situation she's going to stay in her own lane focus on her and these children 
And I feel like this person is not doing that. They're taking their mind, their focus off on, you know, the majority. I mean, they're, it's like they're focused on just this one thing, which is you. And it's, it's not good because they need to balance this out. But this masculine here, whoever I'm speaking to, this divine masculine, is like, I'm going to take care of my child. I'm going to do what I need to do regardless of the situation. So whoever this masculine is, you're, thumbs up. Thumbs up to you because it's, it's masculines out there that, that don't take care of their children or put on this front like they're a great father, but they're really not. Um and and pretend like they're providing for a child or children but they're really not um or you know try to just have this image like they're a part of a child life but they're they're really not it's like partial it's like oh it's just the, it's just the image i'm gonna take a picture Ooh, my child that's my child yeah i'm a great father but no you know deep down or behind the scenes people don't really realize but the, whoever this is so this could be the opposite of how this mother is but the, whoever this masculine is you're a real stand-up person you're like look I, i'm a, okay i'm not happy that i have this child with you but i'm trying to work things out so we can you know balance this out um what do i owe you what do i need to give you what you what you need you need help you need whatever regardless it's like you're taking yourself out of the you know you're not you're not um holding a grudge to towards this person you know what it is and you may have slipped up like you're, you're taking accountability that's what i'm getting there is a masculine here who's taking accountability yeah i slipped up okay i had this child so let me do what i need to do no i don't want to be with you um but i am here 100 percent for our child so that's what i'm getting but i'm just letting you know divine masculine is not going to be easy this person is very narcissistic and they're going to manipulate you into working with them in such, such a way where they end up benefiting out of whatever their game plan is. So just make sure you stay afloat and make sure you're doing what you need to do. Um, of course, continue to do what you need to do for that child. Um, if it do need to go into the courts to make sure, you know, to get a clear understanding of how this should work so this person can't try to manipulate you um, or cause any problems because it looks like in the future this w it will be problems. This is a person that's not going to give up. Um, so you need something in writing so this person can know, like, no, look, okay. Um, sometimes it's best for you to, you know, b get child support or be on child support. So so when it comes to this situation, this is not everyone's situation. When you're dealing with a narcissist, the courts need to be involved, period. The courts need to be invo involved because it's going to be nasty without the courts. It's already, It's going to be nasty with the courts, but not as much. You know, this person is still going to try to manipulate you, manipulate the system or whatever. Um, please reverse it if you need to, because a lot of you, this could be the, the masculine that's doing this and um, the male that's doing this and the m mother um, that is not. So it could be a male here who's a liar, narcissist, but I'm getting, I feel like I'm speaking to most divine masculines. So sometimes, like I say, I know everyone feel like uh they'll never want to be on child support they'll never have to go through that but sometimes it's best when you're dealing with a narcissist um anytime even any kind of person like that is not going to work as much as you want to like okay i'm gonna give it time i'm gonna work it out i'm gonna try to no because this person is steady playing games steady trying to manipulate you trying to get what they want and if they don't they're going to cause drama in your life so as long as you have that listed in the course or do you have child support then or you have some arrangement with your child, then great. Because this person going to manipulate the situation, if not, to try to, oh, it, it, you know, just to cause delays for you. So I would, um, in this situation, you're just going to have to figure out how you're going to balance this out with this person. But just be uh, in, in awareness of... Uh, how this person roll because even if they're smiling and everything is cool for one moment it's not going to last that way it's not going to be that way because this person is a narcissist shall i say it again they're a karmic mother they're not going to change this person is set in their ways and they're going to continue to try to sabotage you hurt you cause some type of delays for you due to your love life your finances something like that okay um and you're not going to be pleased with the outcome of this situation. So you might as well do it, handle it the most um, 
Yeah, because you need protection. You need protection against this person or you need to set boundaries. And the only way you're going to be able to set boundaries with this narcissist is through the courts. So it should be some form of a contract, some something in writing. So this person can't be in and manipulate this uh, arrangement with you and, and your child. Okay, yeah, because this is a burden on someone, Ten of Wands. This will be very much overwhelming. It's going to be a lot to deal with. This is a lot because this person is, is oof, they're very, um, they're very controlling. And that's, that's definitely falling into a narcissist trait. They like control. And if they don't have that control, then they want to, you know, sabotage you. In any way that they can. In any way that they can. So you want to stay a step ahead and do what you need to do so this person can't, you know, continue to try to destroy you. Let's get more. I want to see, are they doing um, actual spell work? Are they doing like uh, black magic spirit? Is this a karmic person doing black magic? Message. Okay, so show us more on this. Are they doing black magic on hmm. Yes, they are. So this person also could be into spell work, doing like black magic, some type of spell work to try to sabotage you as well. Um, they're telling someone you may need to seek an attorney or some type of... um. Some 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 higher power to help you um, in this situation. Also, someone's money is being investigated. This person could be trying to, mm, yeah. This person definitely is is trying to hurt you. Look at this, the magician again. Protect yourself. Yeah, no longer don't hold back from like maybe you were waiting for them to change their communication with you, make things better um, between you and them. Maybe they will um, allow you to do your part without them trying to hold on to you or whatever. They're telling you to let go of that thought. Like, it's nothing that... You can't just change this. You can't change this person. They're not going to balance with you. It's not going to be no reciprocity between you and this person. That's what I'm getting here. It's, it's, it, no matter how much they pretend like at the moment okay we're cool things are good no in their sick mind they're still thinking of ways to sabotage you because they're still not getting exactly what they want from you which is possibly a relationship or just for you not to be with no one else or just wanting they don't and it's crazy it's it's kind of but it is what it is show us more in this energy spirit for this confessions Show us more on this energy spirit for this confession. Show us more on this energy. We have paradise in reverse. Like I said, you can't, like if one minute, you know, things is going fine. You're like, okay, we good. You know, whew, hopefully it stay like this. Well, it's not. Not with dealing with this type of energy. Okay, it sometimes relationships or connections could work outside of being in a couple, like just for the sake of a, of a child. But when you're dealing with someone with mental issues, this is not going to work. It's good. They're, they're always going to relapse into who they really are. So it could just be putting on a front, that mask of, okay, everything is a paradise. Everything is going good. We're happy. Okay, we can, you know, we're playful, you know, think, enjoying the situation, enjoying co-parenting, enjoying this, the moment. But it's just a front, okay? They're letting you know with this paradise in reverse. This is not what you think. And it will not be what you think. So as much as you... Because a divine person always would think the positive out of the situation. You're always going to look at it like, okay, well, this person could possibly change. Let me give... I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to go ahead and give them another try and another try and another try. And it's like, what? No. You don't see this. This person keep repeating this. This person is staying that that one minute they're they're cool and then the next minute they're back to their manipulative ways, um, trying to control you out of the situation. However, this is like oh, say for instance you have a child. Oh you oh you got a uh, how you gonna like? Eh. 
this person shouldn't know your next moves. They should not know what you got in store. They shouldn't know nothing about your love life. Even though you got a child with this person, they shouldn't know too much about this because they're manipulative. And the more access they have to you, the more information they have on you, they're trying to figure out a way to manipulate that against you. So the less they know, the better. We have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So they want to come out of this separation. But like I said, I feel like it's definitely manipulative, manipulative, <laughs> manipulative, um, unconditional love, self-love. One is passion, affection, attraction. So this person may come to you or trying to tell you just what you want to hear. Sabotage, rebuilding, and... I tell you, man, I tell you, this person is persistent. They're persistent. This person is a hard worker on manipulation, like manipulating people. Okay, I'm getting whoever this is that you did. You, maybe this person have, I feel like whoever this is may have more than one child, may have three. Um, and that's including your child or could have more than that. Could have se se dang, seven or six or five. Okay, but... And that's including your child or four. I don't know. But not enough. Frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear. Ego issues. That's this person. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed. Narcissist. One-sided relationship. Love bombing. Yes. Like I said. This person is going to. Oh, but I love you. And that's that love bombing. But it, their intentions is not really to love on you it's just to get something out of this whatever they're trying to get they're, they're going to do whatever they need to do in order to get it so I would not trust this it's like you got to handle this person like just a business deal okay and the business is the child the business deal is the child you have a contract with this child now sad to say that this you know you have to go through this but this is what it is and sometimes it happens to the best of us it does. When you are of divine, it, it, it you can run into situations like this. But, um, wow. Yeah, we have runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, li listening to ego. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wants a date. So a lot of you, you're going to be going into a new connection. And don't let this person know. But they're spying so hard that they may end up finding out that you're in a connection with someone. And they're going to try to figure out how they can rekindle with, with you. Some of you are actually going to move into a higher commitment with this person. Um, not this not this karmic situation. It don't seem like. Heart with the key. Welcome in love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. I feel like some of you are not opening up to new love not fully it's like you're giving it a chance but they're trying to let this let you know that cupid's arrow is here so you do have a, a real connection that's coming in for you divine masculine um th this could be someone from your past or this could be a brand new connection but whoever this is they want you to open up okay whoever you and they and and not because oh because it could have been because you've been traumatized from your last relationship past connection it could be from this person but i feel like for a lot of you this wasn't even a real relationship it was just someone that you dealt with and you, they got pregnant okay maybe you you know you maybe things was just hitting off it was a lot of passion and it, it developed quickly but you really didn't um have a chance to get to know this person and that's why you're just finding out who this person really is which is a narcissist or someone with narcissist traits yeah so um mass not showing the true feelings high person yes pretend gaslighting this person yeah make sure you're um not giving in to this person. I feel like I got to say this several times to you because I guess, you know, especially with dealing with drama with this person and then all of a sudden they're they're cool, they're calm, they're in agreement with you, things is where you like, whew, okay, we're, we're in the clear, we're good. No, they have a motive. 
They're wearing a mask. So spirit is telling you to make healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier, healthier choices. Okay? Spirit, please show us a message for this collective. All 12 zodiac signs for this confession. Please show us a message for this collective. All 12 zodiac signs. Do you want them at all? Please show us a message. Go, go the distance. Yes. Go the distance. Give it your all due to what you know you need to do out of the situation. Don't half step it. It's like a thought. Like, okay, um, I think I should. You know, I, you know what? I am. But yet, you're not taking action. Um, they're saying, no. It's time to take action. Not only that, don't half step it. Don't give part of you and then you know or like say for instance you say okay i know how to handle this person i need to go ahead and um make arrangements with the courts or whatever and you go and maybe you get the information or paperwork but you don't take action with it they're saying go to distance go all the way with it okay yeah come to the edge it's time to take that leap of faith okay the number 47 could be significant someone could be age 47 or someone could be age 36 or these numbers could uh be significant for you in other ways um, four, seven, three, six, six, three, seven, four, um, 63, 47, um, 37, 46, 64, 73. However, um, those numbers could resonate with you in any way. Um, 11, n November 9th could be significant for someone. Um, or nine, 11 could be significant. 9 11. Mm. Okay, tower. So, yeah, some shocking news could be approaching. That's why they're saying go to distance. Go ahead and go to go to distance with this situation. Take action. All right. Do what you need to do to resolve this because this person is not going to change. They're not going to change at all. All right, that is all I have. I hope you enjoyed this message or received some clarity. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And also join in on Wednesdays and Saturdays for clairvoyant um, readings. Um, I am a psychic medium. Um, if you are new to the channel, definitely check me out. You can look into reviews. That is in Facebook. Smell the Roses Oshun. Um, you can also look into past live videos, Facebook or in uh, YouTube also join my other channel that I will eventually start doing Q and A's Q questions and answers for clairvoyant readings psychic medium readings over there but I'm still here so definitely join in on Wednesdays and Saturdays so you can get a question answer and uh, participate in games things like that uh, yeah you guys I hope you enjoy and until next time many blessings